what was the difference between the uh Chicago Mass Band, the All Star Band, the the uh, Windy the Windy City All Star Band? What what is the difference between these organizations? Why was there a a, a splinter between them? You know what's what's the history there? So technically, the Windy City All Star Band and the Chicago Mass Band were definitely two entities. The Windy City All Star Band was more so started by Fred Felder, and mm. um, and um, he got he kind of had a cast characters. And actually, if you want to go back even further, Travell kind of started the real Travell Judah started the first real kind of city mass band out of his garage on Halsted. <laughs> mm. And uh, we would meet up at his house and we'll practice in his garage. And um, he was our drum major and everything. And people like Tony Miller and um, Tristan uh, Brown and all these cats from CVS and, and uh, Dunbar at the time, uh, you know, we all meet up at Travell house and we practice and we did a few parades and stuff like that. And then Travell got a little busy and stuff. So Fred kind of took over and Fred started the Windy City All-Star Band, so to speak. Mm. Um, I was not a, uh, I wasn't really a, a director. I was just kind of more wanting to play with every, everybody else. For the Wendy City All Star Band, that was more Fred's thing, um, and I think Tristan was doing some directing as well. But again, it started off strong and fizzled out because um, I think that one was more performance opportunities. Maybe I don't know. You you would probably have to ask those guys how that kind of melted away. But then um, Jeremy uh, Day was like. A few years ago, man, let's try to bring this back to the city. Let's, if we had this all star band, maybe it'll help with the rest of the high schools and get some kids motivated if they see these people playing, you know, around the city. So, Jeremy um, kind of brought me in and he brought in Lawrence Cooper and Tristan Brown. And we said, all right, cool, let's do this. And it started strong. There was no promises of any money or Anything like that, it was just for the love of it. Just come yeah. and play. <laughs> just come and play. And so we tried it. Um, it fizzled out. Uh, came back, tried it again with some guys who did make us some promises. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they made us some promises, and then um, they fizzled. You know, they they reneged on their promises, and that fizzled out so then we were back to, to the drawing board so it was once again me jeremy lawrence and tristan and then we brought in zach from uh proviso west to try to get some of the west side folks to come and join us um and it had and it worked we 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 were doing well and then some people decided that they wanted to start their own thing outside of the windy city I mean, the Chicago Mass Band, because they didn't like the direction that the band directors wanted to take it in. So they didn't agree with us. And some of them were upset that we didn't use their uh, their arrangements or whatever the case was. So they decided that they wanted to start their own band. On the year that we actually were doing things, like that's the year that we decided, you know, we, we battled, uh, I want to say Kansas City. No, that was Windy City. We battled... Um, the Detroit All Star Band that year, and we went down to Nashville that year, mm -hmm. that summer, and that's the summer that I think we had the most success. Um, which is why it baffled me that these guys wanted to go and start their own thing instead of us trying to come together and talk it out and work it out. Um, and I think that kind of hurt us uh, in the long run. So. Um, from that, then you know, COVID hit, and that was, that was that. <laughs> wow, wow, that's you know, it really, you know, it really, it really um, gets me to thinking about how does it get, how do we get to um, to a point where we're able to see the bigger picture, where it's not just about us, not just about 
us individually or the schools that we came from, but there's a a, a, a larger responsibility to Chicago because you know you you will uh, see some of these other cities, especially down south and even some of the Midwest, like you said, that that are a lot bigger and 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 have had longevity, is because there's been a central vision and even if everybody doesn't agree, there's still like a, like okay, well this is still the best situation to be a part of. Let's at least try to uh, change it, you know. For the best um i think it's a honestly i feel like it's a, a lot of a, a ego thing people, a lot of people want their names on things um and i think that's that's part of the issue um i can honestly say that we were always open um with the the people who tried to be a part of cmb um we took in as many suggestions as we could, even especially on arrangements, uh, so that we can get everybody a chance. Because at the end of the day, we were all we are all educators, and we want everybody to grow. Um, and especially for those arrangers, because you know, being an arranger, man, that can still take you a lot of places. You can be somebody's chief arranger somewhere. Um, so we even took it as far as we had a we went on facebook live i think it was uh the last year that we had a, a full cmb season and we put the arrangements on live and we listened to them um they were blind uh listens so nobody knew whose arrangement it was out there we knew whose arrangement it was but we played the arrangements and we kind of played every arrangement that everybody sent to us and we kind of pick and chose what we thought would fit our group. And people were mad that their arrangements didn't get chosen or they felt like, you know, we didn't give them a fair shake or whatever the case was. Um, but in my head, it was always, I want everybody to win. I want to put, I want to put CMB on the map so that all the, city schools because that's where where it's kind of dying is in the city so that all the city schools can see oh this is where we can go you know or this is what we should sound like and have and and be able to reach out to band directors in the city and say hey why don't you send out your kids to us man we'll send them back to you better you know we'll help you out <laughs> you know what i'm saying because it's kind of like i felt like it was like um it was definitely a way to meet for me to reach to reach those kids and, and and grow programs. That was that was always my intention to eventually have uh, more high school kids involved in it than alumni. And even to this day, I would I would like to to eventually try again, but I would really just want it to be the high school kids because some of our adults, you know, we just bump heads. And it's natural, you know, I'm not blaming anybody at all, but sometimes egos get in the way. Sometimes people just don't agree on things and sometimes people just bump heads. Yeah, and I'd even just wonder that, you know, even some of those um, instances you were talking about, those people who who uh, may felt may have felt like, uh, you know, their their arrangement or their idea wasn't taken into account. What do they have today? You know, do you, do you see them on the stage? Because you know if i'm if i'm if i'm demanding so i got my daughter here um you know but if, if you know if they're if they're demanding oh well you know i feel like my idea is, is the best you need to take mine okay well <laughs> especially post covid you know here's your chance what you doing are you doing anything now that that you know it really it really makes me think about that um you know both you know, what you're doing.